that is my child. This is the closest you will get. We don't put her face on social media, but she's there. Arlo, come here. Let's go. Hello beautiful people, my name is Fintan and this week we are going to be playing the Irish Open in Dublin. I am going to be playing the 5k high roller, the 3k high roller and the 1 million euro guaranteed main event. And on top of all that, I get to get my favourite coffee every day because we are at home. This is where I live, Not, unfortunately not in um, one of those massive houses, but if I win the Irish Open, then maybe. You can look forward to some guest appearances from my wife. Hello. And my dog. Ooh. Say something. <laughs> Say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you. We haven't really told anyone yet, but my wife is heavily pregnant and I'm not sure if she should have been lifting that dog. But hey, We're fine. Hollywood, showbiz, you do what you gotta do. The venue for the Irish Open is the RDS in the middle of Dublin. Conveniently very close to my house, which I previously mentioned I am a massive fan of, but it is a stunning room. This room is almost 400 years old, built in 1740 or something like that. There is 180 tables. Obviously, the 1 million euro guaranteed main event is going to smash it out of the park, but there's also a 200 euro mini main with a 500k guaranteed, and this room is going to be rammed full in the coming days. I'm excited to see it come to life. I'm excited to play some poker tournaments later. The first tournament we are going to be playing is the 5,000 euro high roller later on. But first, I gotta do some activities. I'm doing sumo wrestling. I'm doing horse racing. I'm basically embarrassing myself so I can continue to be sponsored by stars. I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit cold, it's a bit rainy, and apparently we've got to jump in that bucket of water. Are you ready? Yeah! White flag is raised. Team Ireland, get back. Team Ireland, get back. Get back. White flag is raised. Hang it off! Oh, I need to... <laughs> The white flag is raised. They're off! And they're off now to see who wins our final. And straight away, Craig has showed good pace to the net, but he's now lagging back about a length of it. Team Ireland have lost their cap, and I think they nearly lost their horse. Craigie has shown superior pace down the course. He's in and out. He's in and he's out. Come on, Finton. Get that challenge back. Over the jumps. And Finton goes over. And he unseats Ryder again. Finton, come on. You're representing your country. That's Craigie has shown great stamina here. Now going to the car going out again. He's lost his cap early on. Finton is coming back again strongly. Scraggy awards it again. Team England have the lead by three legs. Team England have the lead by two legs. Oh, what a tackle! What an absolute tackle! And he's going through. He does make contact. Yes, there's a bit of momentum. Yes, there's some follow through. It's not the worst I've ever seen either. No question there's a collision. He's been well advised here by Paul Tierney. And based on that advice, Anthony Taylor is reversing his decision. And he's going through. In, out, in, out, in, out. Scraggy versus Finton. Ladies and gentlemen, it was despicable. It was disgraceful. But we don't care. Team Ireland and the winner! Excuse me, but who the fuck signed off on it being called the Crackdown? <clears throat> All right, we have the confidence of one win already this week. Team Ireland versus Team England absolutely crushed them. Did I cheat a little bit? Yes, but that is what winners do. 
win. It doesn't matter if we cheated. The tackle at the end, that rugby tackle, that was a thing of beauty. That might be the peak of my entire life, never mind career. But the 5,000 euro high roller is about to kick off. This is the highest buy-in that I will play all week. It is a relatively small field. Currently 32 players in there, but it is most likely going to be the best players in the room. But in a small field, it gives us a good chance of playing with some familiar faces, such as Benjamin Sprague, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, sir. You in the 5K? I was just talking about how the first win of the week has given me monster confidence. What did you win? Ireland versus England. A rugby tackle for the ages. I'd love to hear your you thoughts on that. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Go on. Would you like to discuss it, England take versus take Ireland it. rugby take performances? It, take it. My thoughts on fitness tackle are that it was a disgrace. It was abhorrent. It was disgusting behavior. It lowered what was a very fun event. It's like a, you know, like a family fun day, you know? People running around just horses. And he reduced it to violence because he doesn't know any better. Um, and if that's how he wants to win, it says a lot about the man. Um, couldn't win fairly. He's basically cheated, is what, is what you've done. I'll give you a chance. Would you like a little fair last longer in the 5K? In this? Just pull it only. For what? Whatever you want. You can name your price. You name name, your name bet, my price. Anything you would like. Uh, let's just do a pint. As a, man a friendly pint. A man who's not drinking at the moment, it's a bet that you cannot lose. He can have a pint of orange juice, <laughs> but we'll have a, a fair last longer right there. That's a scared man, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I've offered him... Pick the price. <laughs> oh, what's, what's the smallest amount we can bet? I'll bet that. All right, we started with 50,000 chips. My table is fucking playing batshit crazy. Max Silver is there. Michael Molnar is there. A few other people that I recognize are there. And uh, Max Silver convinced everyone to play a 800 straddle at the beginning at Big Blind 400 and it led to the silliest spots. I ended up getting bluffed by Max in a 4 bet pot with 7 deuce off. I accidentally made a 5600 instead of 1600 pre and Michael picked up King so we've donked off about 20,000 of our 50k starting stack and are down to 30k at the first break. It's actually got 51 players already which is much bigger than I thought it was going to be but uh, yeah I'm going to try not to donk it off, that's a bad first hour. Alright, that was swingy as fuck. I was down as far as 12,000 chips. I raised under the gun of 15, 16 big blinds. It got flatted plus one. It got flatted plus two. The big blind squeezed it to 12 big blinds. I'm not folding. I have ace queen suited. I go all in. The gentleman beside me calls pretty quickly. The big blind calls. We're off to a three way all in for my tournament life. It comes out queen 10 6 i'm like you know what that is not bad we might be okay here we might be back in the game we might be back up to almost starting stack the turn is a king after it went check check the big blind bets about half paw it's curtains i'm not the kind of person to stand up before i see the river card but if i was this would be a good time guy beside me gets out of the way we're heads up cards on the back king queen for my opponent which is top two pair versus my ace queen but i don't budge i don't move bang Barry Greenstone on the river. We are back in the game. I decide to drink a coffee at 11 p.m. I don't normally drink coffee past 2 p.m. I may as well have injected cocaine into my eyeballs. I don't even know if you can do that. I don't even know if you can inject cocaine, but I may as well. I'm not going to be sleeping for about three days now. And they didn't get me. And they should have fucking got me. Because now we are going to spin it up. We have got two more levels left to play today. And then we will be coming back for day two of the 5K. Let's fucking get after it. I am very, very, very angry. I played terrible poker today. It's it's just not, I have no excuse. Yes, I'm a little bit tired. Yes, it's a little bit late at night after being up early, but I don't know if I've ever played worse. To put the final nail in the coffin, I punted the living daylight out of the remainder of my chips with about 15 minutes left in the day. I could have had a bag. I could have... I, I could have made a day two. I could have came back tomorrow. Would have been great for the vlog. Would have been great for me. Would have been financially bloody fantastic as well. But I decided, after defending with five deuce of spades and seeing the flop of king six deuce two spades, I was like, oh my god, we're going to have a big stack going back tomorrow. And when I say big stack, I mean starting stack. But that would have been huge. It goes check, check. Turn is a four of diamonds. So now we've got two flush draws on the board. I've got a pair. I've got a flush draw. I've got a good shot. I bet the pot, leaving pot behind on the river the river is an offsuit 10 that is not me i check and my opponent almost puts me all in but leaves me two big blinds i just wasn't sure if my opponent would shove a 10 here for value i'm not even saying they should i thought they would pretty much always bet a king on the flop so i was most scared if they had pocket kings and check the flop or if they rivered pocket tens 
But my problem is when I bet the pot on the turn and then check the river, I have a lot of give ups. I don't have a lot of hands that can call. Maybe I just call when I've got 10x with the miss flush draw. I talk to my opponent. I try to get a live read. I can't get live reads. I don't know who the fuck I think I am. He has a little smile on me when I say I have a deuce. Maybe that was him laughing as if, as if this fucking idiot's gonna call with a deuce. Well, let me tell you right now. I might, and I did. And he had check back king queen on the flop and completely owned me. So to the gentleman that's playing with Fergal, nice hand. We're out of 5k. We are sad. We are mad. Today was a bad day of poker, but at least I got the rugby tackle, Benjamin Sprague. It's the little things.